and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. Whew, that was a lot of track. That was a lot of track. And anybody who pointed out the little flaw that I had down here in the last episode, I will thank you ahead of time. I did catch it. Um, as I was laying these track out, I was like, oh, yeah, all of these, these two track here actually went down into this one. So I had to delete all of the stuff that I had down there and reorder all of this. But we got it. We got it going. It's a giant band of track that goes right through the whole heartland here. Okay. So I want to make sure these things are staggered. I want to make sure they're staggered. So I'm going to try out a system I have theorized would work. And that is putting, instead of doing the signals like across the whole thing all at the same spot, like normally I would do the signals, you know, just in a band going across. Um, uh, some examples of that would be right in here. So you can see all the signals going across. However, I think that goes to um, having them not be staggered. So having all of the signals all in one spot in a line will make them pause at the same amount of time. And I don't want them to pause at the same amount of time. So we are going to stagger these as best we can here. So we're just going to go uh, and then let's can go up and then up here and then we're on the the next two and then let's go down like down here I'm really hoping I'm putting these in the right one all right and then the last one like back in here so stagger those out like so um, just to make sure. So if we kind of zoom in a little bit here, so those two, those two, those two, then down here, then up there, up, up, and then down. How about these? I want these to be more staggered. So, and then these here also. I got a lot of track that I can use, might as well use use it. Uh, let's go way up here. And then this one can go even further up, like so. Now they're a little bit more staggered. Let's take this set. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is the one, two, three, four, seventh track in. So we're going to go way, we're going to split the difference here. One, two, three, four, five, six, so seventh track. Something like that. Yeah, I forgot just how much space we actually have. And then the, let's stagger these even more. So the, this third and fourth tracks, uh, let's go up here and really make sure that these things are far enough away that they'll make an actual difference. So now when we run the trains, they'll, you know, start out at different times and hopefully be well staggered. Okay, the line here, uh, let's see, livestock supply. I'm kind of wanting a different color for these. Now that we're redoing all of the trains, I don't know. Do I have a blue delivery line? I don't know if I do. Like, I don't know if any of the products are blue. So that is like a brown. Those are like purple and pink. That's green. Because I'm using green to, del to deliver the food. Um, and I'd like some other color so that's all red 
Da, 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 da. And then you, again, our brownish thing. Fuel is all yellow. So, yeah, I think blue for cows. Let's choose a darker blue, just, just like a shade darker. And now I want cow trains, like lots and lots of cow trains. And so livestock supply is where it's at. Okay, I'm not going to put signals over here. The entrances and exits, signals are seriously going to be dictated by the signals in, inside of there. So, yeah, we hopefully will go a long ways. So we're going to buy trains, and uh, we're going to pick dark blue. And we're on the first one here, right? Yep. So we're going to pick our, our beautiful engine. But then... The, we're not going to use the HH boxcar. We're going to use the regular boxcar, which has a speed limit and much, much lower numbers of things that we're going to be able to move. So, yeah. Cows are us. Um, okay, so moving cows. What did I say about 20 cars? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20 20 cars moving cows double it so that's that one now the next one and see how many just see how many uh cows we can move here so regular box car cows 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 360 is where that's at. So there's double that. Now this one. And regular boxcar. Cows. Yeah, it's auto-saved like four times since I started putting all this track in. Oh yeah, 360 is what I need to hit. So rather than moving five or six hundred at a time, 360 seems okay. And we're going to move that quite, a, you know, quite substantially and consistently. That's the big issue. So again, with this and this regular boxcar. So $39 million for the train alone. Okay, so dark blue. Regular boxcar. That was that one, I believe, yep. So three more... Three more left. Uh, boxer. And cows. Double that. Dark blue. I'm just clicking until I get close to that 360. Easier than counting them all out, that's for sure. Then boxcar. And double it. So two trains on each line should be should be plenty. I mean, that's how many trains do we have here? Uh, two, four, six, eight. That's sixteen trains, all all running to get cows, which is crazy. So if we look at our like finances, 
we're 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 not doing too bad for cows. I mean, cows alone are making us almost half a billion dollars every year. Um, you know, it, it's it's good. It's good money. But let's set line to livestock. Uh, let's see if I can remember my alphabet. There it is, livestock supply. Livestock supply. Livestock supply. Let's let's run it because these are all going to start coming out at the same time, and that kind of defeats our staggering mantra. We want to stagger these. Um, let's look at livestock supply. So we've we've got at fifty nine seconds already. So set line. Mm -hmm. So these are the vanilla box cars. There's. Hey, look at that! My middle mouse button is working today. Oh, dude. What's up, dude? That's a lot of trains. That's a cool little effect, though. I do like that. So, livestock supply. Let's get a couple more out here. Oh, it looks like 20 cars is a little on the much side. For some reason, they didn't stop all the way to the end so I'm two cars two two cars long so one two one two uh, what is what was my what was my cost of new vehicles 165 million I mean that's not too bad no that was way off 789 million was the majority of them. Um, can I please like? Why can't I click on you? Train one sixty eight. One sixty nine. One sixty eight. Okay, yeah, both of these livestock supply. I'm actually not sure what happens if they're if they're oversized. So this last one. Uh, I want to Take two off of you and two off of you. All right, twenty two seconds we've got that down to. Now let's set. I want to make sure this is off. Because otherwise they would just get replaced. Yeah, we are a little low. A little low on cows. Oh, look at all the cows over here. There are some cows to be had. So now we are... Each train is not nearly carrying as much as the other trains. Almost half. It's a little bit more than half, especially with the trains that I've shrunk in size. So we shouldn't be overwhelming anything. As you can see, the potential has dropped off here. So maybe that's a result of something else. And with the speed limits, that might... 
actually do us actually benefit us somehow. All right, do you have no, you didn't see any potential. Okay. So the whole point of this was to keep these staggered. You can see this one is now speeding up. So the whole point of that was to stagger their their incoming amounts of 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 goods. Cuz having them all all at the same time not not very good. So we'll see how this does. And then we may be able to translate what we do here to steel. Maybe maybe it'll help steel. Waiting for free path. Um, uh, I'm thinking this wasn't able. Okay, we're going to send you to depot. We're going to send you to depot. Um, they're too long. And because they're too long, they weren't able to get off the switch back here. And when they turned around, they were on the wrong track. So I need to get those delivered here and cut off a couple. So a couple train cars here and here. How are these other ones faring? Because I think this part of the, the station is shorter than this one, just by the laws of geometry. So yeah, this full train is actually fits, but on this inside loop, it doesn't. All right, so hopefully you're gonna get that supply up a little bit. This one looks like it leveled up again. This would be funny if they just swapped places. So this train here, and this train here are probably going to have to be sent to the depot. Because of the same issues that the other two had. This one I think will fit. I think that's the, the limit. Yeah, so this one. So we're going to send them to depot. We're going to send you to depot. So that's train 20 and train 6 are done already. So train 6 is done. Train 8 needs two cars. Train 19, two cars. So let's send them to the livestock supply again. Get them get them operational. You didn't actually drop off any cows. Well, I'm hoping that this works. I mean, it was a lot of work trying to get more cows down here. Uh, do we eliminate the downgrade that this is threatening us with? It, we haven't. So I don't know. Unless this guy is full. 
So you can see this actually was really, really slow because this one, this other train, I think was coming by. Anyway, I'm hoping that they're still staggered. All right. Oh, it looks like it cleared it. I am hoping it cleared it. I don't know who's getting more of the food, this one or this one. Sixty. As long as this potential stays up, if this potential drops, then we know that the the farm is going to stop delivering cows. And the whole point of this was to get a more consistent supply of cows. And maybe I'll just keep an eye on this. It's a crazy amount of production. But we should have lots, we should have, you know, enough demand to, to deal with it. It's weird that it's, it's like delivering more cows to this guy than the other one. Which is strange. So this is what I'd like to see is is trains in all sorts of different different levels of you know delivery. So we got trains coming, we got trains going, we got trains midway, we got trains loading up over here. This guy's gonna level up hopefully soon. So yeah, you got lots of potential. Uh, did you you got some yeah, you got some I mean, yeah, some of them are gonna be you know empty ish But you know, they're not gonna be delivering as much so It should be fine we'll fill up we'll fill up one or trainer one or two trains and then The next couple might not be so full and that's fine If we really want to keep track of things, we can follow the chart of the line, not the individual train, but the line, like the finances of the line. Obviously, our running costs are going to be higher. Though those uh, um, those box cars, those different box cars, are more expensive than my heavy hauling ones, but. Yeah, this chart will tell us after the first full year, uh, this is just going to be a partial year, it's from what I understand. Um, the first full year should, should really clue us in. Now, what's the loading speed of these guys? 480x. That's, it's not bad. Cleaning those cows out like crazy. Look how fast they come in. <laughs> it's impressive. All right, he's got two months. I actually leveled this one up manually to the first level just to try to fix the problems. Because, you know, it's just trial and error at this point. Trying to, trying to fix whatever issues we need. And this is this was my next step here is kind of going a little less high tech on the supply and demand here. Oh yeah, look at that. Our our delivery is already up for the year. 
how are we doing on potential? Potential is still there. I'm looking for that consistent potential. Like, I don't want that to drop off the face of the planet. As little as that looks, I want to make sure when we switch the, the new month that we're good to go. Sounds like, you know, there's still lots of potential to be delivered. So that's good. Okay, the new month didn't drop my potential. So that's good. That's really good. That's the most consistent I've ever seen it. Yeah, look at our look at our supply already. Our delivered on that line is already higher than it's been ever. So we're already moving more product more consistently with these with this train style so i'm going to let this sort of pan out and see if we can't uh see the results from our city you can see 56 percent not very good um not very good at all so you know goods obviously are planks and plastic well plastic is uh i think planks would would be the the number one thing there that that's going to be that's going to be needed to swap over so i might have to use two more lines for that do we have two more lines underneath oh yeah oh maybe uh we have we do have two lines underneath that we can use kind of far away from one another but we do have two more that we can use for more more plank trains I would like to get this get this working we have lots of potential on our logs but yeah look at that look at that delivered last year like higher than it's ever been that's a good sign Plus, it's just consistently pushing food out. All right, this one might upgrade as well. That would really help us out. Switch, you know, we're, we're sharing the load between these two. Even though one should, you know, do it. Yeah, you can see hub right here, 642. And hub can move 600 at a time. So hopefully we're going to be boosting the amount that we're, we're delivering as far as food to the hub and getting that percentage up. So yeah, I'm going to let this run for, a, you know, maybe another year and, you know, see how, how everything handles. And uh, maybe we can apply this, you know, going forward to other industries. And uh, also it allows time for these things to run. So if we look at our finances, you can see not exactly making money. If we look at our absolute line finances, not yet making money. But cities are responding. Um, you know, all of these, you can see the land value here. Yeah, the only reason that land value is so high is because we have this train running. You know, otherwise there's no reason for that to be worth so much. So if we take a look, it's it's going to take a while for the cities to sort of grow in that direction and see that hey, there's there's you know things that can be done. Um, ooh, there's a road that I missed. Up there there we go so yeah these are these are starting to get uh, get some get some people um, how are the finances going on this one 
not too bad. I mean, yeah, they're going to lose money for a few years, but the cities are going to respond. They're going to be like, oh, my goodness, there's, there's more travel that we can do on this side. And I could, you know, eventually, depending on what grows around all of these, I could deliver, you know, goods out here that may not be covered elsewhere. Lots of ways to to use use it. I can't believe my middle mouse button is suddenly working. It's weird. It's weird. All right, yeah, nine people. That's pretty good. And these these stretches are long enough. I might be able to put a couple more trains on either side, but that is risky. Uh, what is the line frequency already? See, we have three minute line frequency. That's pretty good. A train every three minutes. I doubt there are subway systems that are that that frequent. All right. So. Keeping an eye, oh, look at the food. <laughs> you can already tell that there's a huge difference. Oh, yeah, we just dropped our potential. So that's going to hurt for a little bit. But we have more trains with more cows in transit, which should, you know, which should help. But yeah, we are tons of food look at the westy food 700 over here that's east let's try to go over to west a lot of oh, those are far west good lord don't even know my own map um you can see our food pretty bad wow goods are really bad like really bad so goods are we are in need of massive amounts of goods so something over here is not doing so well and I'm thinking it's planks we need we need those planks which means the sawmill needs a little bit of love but yeah I'm gonna let this run for another year and we'll come back next episode and maybe overhaul another industry all right that'll have to do it for this episode and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.